My name is Martin Lynx. I work for the Edinburgh City Council and also um, the SUSTRANS. I work in a cycling team in Edinburgh City Council and if you don't know SUSTRANS, they're a sustainable transport um, organisation um, specialising mainly in, in cycling and walking as well. Um, Edinburgh City Council, well, a little introduction to what I'm going to talk about. Um, just briefly mention what Edinburgh City Council is doing in terms of a new network of cycle routes across the city. Um, and then touch on some of the things I've seen OSM um, contributing to that work and then potential uh, future interactions um, and how also we at Edinburgh City Council could interact more with, with OSM ourselves because it's something that we're kind of aware of and we've really done much with really. Um, so this is the, the grand vision for the cycle network. The concept of it um, is an intersecting network of routes, um, particularly focused on people that have are less confident on the roads at the moment. So um, the standard they try to build the infrastructure to is so that a 12 year old child could cycle it alone without the aid of an adult. That's just the grand aim. Um, in many places we certainly aren't there yet. And this is a long term vision for, for the routes. Um, it's certainly not all in place at the moment, and some of them are very much just lines on the map, and it is still shifting, it's still very much a work in progress. Um, through the network, they hope to be promoting um, alternative ways of travelling, more sustainable ways of travelling, um, and healthier ones too. I guess the key sort of uh, structure of the, the network itself is these nine radial meters, which are shown in the different colours. Um, any of you who are cyclists already may be thinking, oh hang on, some of those routes definitely do exist, and you're right, they do. The red ones are the, the National Cycle Network, which are in place already. A lot of that is off-road, some of it's on-road. And this whole um, network itself will be a mixture of on- and off-road routes as well, down quiet streets, down off-road sections. If you live in North Edinburgh, you'll be aware of the North Edinburgh Park Network at the top there, which is um, very much a key aspect. Of this, um, of this network. Um, routes that have been done already to date um, are route numbers 10 and 6. So the nine radio routes, I should also say, have numbers, numbers uh, 1 to 9. Um, and then there's other routes in the city which are intersecting, such as route 10, um, which have numbers 2. So route 10 has been, has been uh, implemented, the infrastructure, and also the size as well. Um, I meant to have a picture of the signs, I just realised I forgot, so... Um, but you, will have seen, you may have seen the signs, a small little blue sign, uh, sign like that, blue background, with a cycle logo on it, and beneath that has a number patch. So the NCM ones are red number patches, the number of one, the 75, and the And the ones for our family network, they're going to have a, a green number patch, a week 10 is a green number patch. Um, and the other ones will have their own colours as well. Um, we're still deciding on the colours, so I couldn't actually present that to you yet. But you may have seen these routes. So there's route, route 10 from Leith to Portobello, and then there's route 6, six which runs from the city centre, well, from the meadows, out to the King's buildings. And if you looked at the slide before, you'll notice that Orange Line extends much further down. So that's the next stage um, of the route. And that just shows you how it's an evolving um, network of routes that we have. Um, my particular job at the moment is signing some of these routes, um, assessing whether any further infrastructure needs to be put in place, and then signing them. The next routes that I have on my way to do um, is Route 20, which goes from, from Craig Leaf through Craig Leaf Park, by the Botanics, and across the Leaf Walk. And then a long route which will go away from the end of Princess Street and Lovely Road, out through Edinburgh, and right out to the Pentland Hills, um, just uh, south of the Lermit. And then Route 8, which runs quite closely parallel to uh, the trams from Edinburgh Park and then back into Roseburn. So I thought I'd just highlight those to you because what we've noticed already, going to this next slide, is that OSM is already picking up all this stuff. So Route 10, you can see here, has been mapped and then down here parts of Route 6 have been mapped as well, which is you know, fantastic. You know, until recently we didn't know that happened, so like, oh wow, great, it's just been picked up by people already. So, to highlight, presumably, to some of you people who may have done that mapping, these are the next ones that are going to be happening. And yeah, <laughs> fantastic! <laughs> Someone put them on a map, did it? Yeah, that's pretty great. Um, from looking at OSM, I'm, I'm a newbie to OSM, just in the last sort of, six months. Um, I can see that the National Cycle Network is on there, um, which is, it's great to run some here, and you've got, got the numbers, one, 
1976. Um, a lot of the off roads, I mean, probably all the off road cycle paths seem to be on there as well, often better than they are on Google Maps. Um, I'm curious to know, I'd love to know if anyone here did the mapping from Route 6 as to why it ends here and doesn't extend to King's Buildings. So maybe not right now, but if anyone knows that, I'd like to know why it ended at that point. Um, and yeah, that's most of what I have to say. I'd love to know what we could do as Edinburgh Council to help whoever does this mapping and to make their job easier or to pass on to them schedules of what we plan to do next and how we can interact on that. Um, and a couple of things which I was thinking would be really great to have um, is somehow imparted through a form of OSM, maybe through cycle streets, knowledge about the signs so people know that oh, it's Route 10 isn't just a, a number on a map, there's signs on it, so if you jump on a leaf, you can, as long as I've done my job properly, you can go all the way to Joppa just following these signs, you don't need a physical map, I think that would be really good to know, and that these routes have start and end destinations. So trying to, to tie up what we want to do at the council in promoting this with this fantastic tool um, for promotion. So yeah, very short little talk, I hope that's given you some introduction to it. Um, that's my, my council email address, feel free to make contact if you want, and I'll be around um, for the next hour or so, so if anyone wants to come have a chat, that'd be great, and thank you to anyone who has done nothing for doing that.